time for a quick garden tour. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and in today's video, I'm just gonna take you around the garden to show you what's growing and what's flowering. Really quick video, but I think it's worth it because there's a lot of fun stuff growing in here. I'm talking a little bit softly because it's really early in the morning. I woke up about 15 minutes ago and I wanted to film this now because it's been super sunny and when it's so bright out, it's not really nice to film. So we're doing this in the early morning mistiness. Let's go. I actually recorded this video about two weeks ago from today. So I decided to pop in some extra footage of the flowers that have opened now that I mentioned. So every now and then you'll see a little hop to the future to see the flowers have opened. I thought that would be fun to see. This is our little back patio. And you may notice that we moved the jacuzzi, the homemade jacuzzi it used to be here, but we moved it into the corner. So we have a little bit more space. Then we have some mess here because we're still working. This is going to be in a little pond area where we make a pond and some colocasias maybe. But for now we have the tree fern here. This one survived in the greenhouse for winter. So it's looking really good. The other one in the garden unfortunately died. So yay for the greenhouse. Over on this side we have some basic pots that used to have tulips in them, but they're gone. Some bee flowered seeds thingies, some cannas that are finally coming up. See, this is the variegated canna that I bought last year. The canna since opened another leaf and it's making another one. But there's also a lot of uh, weeds everywhere. And I also bought this palm tree at Global Garden for my boyfriend because some of his palm trees died over winter. It's two plants in the pot and it was in the sales area. I don't know why, but it's a very, very cool looking one and he loves it so yay i just emptied out these boxes yesterday so we're gonna plant some fun stuff in there this is the christmas tree that i got from the bosserant which is a year long how do you say it it keeps growing and living and you can see it's actually growing right now which is cool this tree is also really funky it's not flowering yet but these bits are all gonna open soon and then have red fluffy hairs come out which is super cute the leaves are super soft as well and i forgot the name <laughs> sorry this is not going to be a very informative video just a fun quick look since then the flowers have actually opened massively so that's really cool to see these are so weird and funny so fluffy and the bees love them they're always covered and then they drop them and then they just continue growing like here. This is gonna be the next branch and it's super soft. This is our left border, which if you haven't seen yet, we did a garden makeover two years ago and you can check that video out here. This border has definitely exploded with growth, especially the poppies, the papavers are now open. The first one is open today, so that's pretty cool. And some of the plants that we planted have completely disappeared. There used to be a euphorbia in here. This is, I think, more weeds, but we're gonna let them grow because it looks kind of nice. And then this is um, certain flowers that were here from the previous owner, but we like them, so we're keeping them. The big thing that was here, the big palmy thing, is actually rotted away after the big cold winter. Whoops. <laughs> then we have an iris that's opened here. Also random grass growing in the middle of the garden. Why am I holding my morning drink? This is really impractical. Some brunera back there and the hosta has also started to grow. I'm pretty impressed with that not being eaten by the snails yet. There's a fingerhutskraut. I don't know the word for that one in Latin or English. It's about to open. This one also opened and they are a favorite of the bumblebees and the, the bees and stuff. Bumblebees, is that the right word? I don't know, but you saw it, right? So I think it's in there still. Hello, mister. Very pretty flowers, but I think they're poisonous for humans and animals, maybe. Here is a lot of stuff growing as well. This is gonna open today. A, a papaver, so poppy seed. And this, I forgot the name of this bush, but it comes out really nice and white, like a ghost almost, or even pink, and then it turns green later on. The, uh, columbines, I think they're called in English, Akalai, are so proliferous. <laughs> I 
I planted maybe two plants of this last year and they just spread across the garden like crazy, which is really cool. Here are more of the bulbs for the papavers, which looks so cute. And there are a few that are opening today, including, ooh, this one, here we go. I knew I had one to show you that it's open. So this is a big orange papaver. Look how pretty. The colors don't come across very well, but okay. The cats are fighting and they shouldn't fight, so telling them off. Mickey, no. More of the Brunera, which is beautifully silver. And it also grows adorably blue little forget-me-not flowers. I guess they might be in the same family. I don't know. I know I'm not a botanist, guys. I'm just an enthusiast. Here's more of these that are about to open. And those are also going to be some kind of papaver. This is our apple tree, which has a bumblebee on it right now. It's looking good. There's some apples starting to form. So thank you bees. Thank you pollinators. Oh, and I forgot this, um, I don't know what it is actually, a silver den, I think. It's also growing a lot. It has a lot of these and also a lot of the little blobs. So kind of cool to see. His brother is over here, which is also growing these little nutty things, <laughs> but then also growth. So it's, oh, a lot of pollen. Did you see that? Oh, this one. Did you see them falling? Look on my hand. Okay, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but all the pollen spread out or spores or I don't know. I don't know, something spread out. Um, some more hostas here. Here you can see who likes the hostas most. Snails, which is a little bit annoying. But hey, what can you do? Some violets that survived the winter. And lots of oxalis, you'll see them everywhere. I planted some tiny corms ages ago. Here's our little palm tree that we rescued. A friend of ours said, do you want a old sad looking palm tree and we said yes of course and it's growing while we're here check this out this is the last of the hostas that is incredibly big so i love it also we have a lot of it's kind of coming oh no this is actually euphorbia this euphorbia is the only one that survived so that's cute but what i wanted to say is we have a lot of uh, weeds that are weeds, but until they're taking over the whole garden, I think they can, they are kind of cute and they get to stay. Here's another palm tree, a little bit of a smaller one. Can you see the stem? Nope. <laughs> there it is. And we have some beautiful, oh, this color is amazing, um, anemones. So that's really cute. I planted some bulbs of those as well. And this is a little leftover rose that's, whoa, growing from the pot into the soil, I guess. Whoops, into the floor. Maybe I should plant that in the garden, but in the winter they need to be protected so then it can go in the greenhouse. These two are our butterfly bushes. Badleya, Badleya, yes, thank you. Um, so I'm hoping that these will look cute again. And then these are gonna make really big purple, pink flowers, if you can see the little card. These ones make little purple f flowers that are really cute as well. I'm waiting for those to come back up. And in this corner is our Visteria, our um, hanging grape, whatever it's called. But it's struggling with something. Oh no, this, this part looks healthy, look. That's growing. But there's also, uh, some kind of bug eating all the leaves. Oh, snails, of course. Stupid snails. <sighs> I don't want to kill them, but also I don't want them in the garden. And then on this side, our bamboo fence is growing like crazy, which is really cool. Um, we planted about four different types of non-invasive. Um, I don't know what the word is, but there's bamboos that can grow through anything and that will root very quickly. These are not that, so they don't take over the garden. These pots are our summer bulbs. Last year I planted them in the garden, but this year I decided to put them in, in pots just because they were huge and 
I think it'd be better to have them in pots. Those pots have definitely grown a lot, but they're not flowering yet. So this is what we've got so far. I think a lot of these are gladioluses. They're gonna have really nice flowers. Here's a strawberry plant that I got for my mom from before the farm burnt. Look, the strawberry has made some flowers. So hopefully they will be pollinated and we'll get our first strawberries this year. My lemon tree with one lemon that came on the plant and that's been there for a year almost. No, yeah, almost a year. I got this for my birthday. The lemon tree is putting out a lot of new growth. Although what, there's a bug on there right there. <laughs> it has, I think maybe some kind of pest, but still it looks cute. And we noticed that it's making a lemon. I wonder if it's gonna keep this because they always drop the ones that grow in my care. This was still from the shop. I think it might be almost ready. Here's Mickey, a very beautiful plant. He loves it in the garden. Yes, you do. I took some of the bulbs out yesterday, but you're not supposed to yet. Whoops, that was my mistake. Over here on the right, you'll see a sneak peek update of the greenhouse, which now has curtains. What? On this side is all the plants. Actually, I'm standing underneath our new shade cloth that I made on my new, new secondhand sewing machine. But this is gonna be a separate video, greenhouse videos <clears throat> you can find here. I've done three updates so far, but I'll do a, another one quick soon. Here is our honeysuckle and clematis. And the clematis is flowering. I got this from my friends for my birthday about two years ago. And, or maybe more even. It looks so good. The colors are amazing and perfectly fitting for, we have a lot of purple in the garden, which we decided, and then some peach as well. And this fits really well with that. At the bottom here, the bluebells are now finished, unfortunately, but they were very cute for a long time. And my boyfriend's bananas, which died back completely in winter, are finally coming back up. And look, they're growing really fast now, once they made it back out for winter, after winter. The Musa has grown so much, look at that. New leaves all over and much bigger than they were two weeks ago. Can you believe how fast growing bananas are? And there's a lot of sedum here that's actually flowering. I didn't know it did that. The sedum flowers haven't opened yet, but you can really see the little white buds. I'm very curious to see how these flowers are gonna look like. These are um, the little flowering perennial version of the ice flower plant. And then here are a few of the ice flowers that have opened. Such a cool plant, this one. And the black grass. And my boyfriend's favorite, the big yucca that is super thick and pointy. This has given me many bleeding fingers. <laughs> the yucca has a little invasion of <laughs> bee flowers from a different pot. One thing I didn't show you here was we had this plant here that was dead. It died in the winter thingy. But look, it's making new little babies. And that is one of my boyfriend's favorite plants. So he is very, very happy. I think it was a cordyline or something. Here's another climber that is not flowering yet, but it's supposed to make really nice flowers. I didn't show you down here before, but there is another Musa Bashu banana that is growing like crazy. It has some weird markings though. So I think there's a pest on it, but it's fine because outside pests aren't as bad and you can see how thick it was before hopefully it's gonna be just as thick again roses the rose is actually budding up so that's really exciting and in front of it we have more of the ice flowers that have a lot of flowers see what I mean with the Sun it's sometimes it's too bright to show you properly but so many flowers and more irises actually the irises here this one is my absolute favorite because look at this color. What? How is that real? And then next to the white one, it's just, it's so intense. And a little palm tree here. I used to have my um, avocado trees here, but they died after this very cold winter. Here's what's left over from the roses that the previous owner had. We cut them back drastically because we don't like our roses to grow in the gutter. But yeah, they, I'm happy that they came back. I didn't want to kill them. I just didn't want them to take over the wall. Some of the roses have already opened. This one is already browning a little bit. Here's another one. It's me. So that's always fun when that season starts. Here's one with a little caterpillar on it. 
I'm sure he's chomping away at the lovely rose. There's also, by the way, this came out of nowhere, a lot of the Fingerhutskraut here now, flowering with more roses hiding behind. I'm so happy that these are flowering and happy after our drastic cutback. This is a random bulb that I think is from when I planted the summer bulbs, which is also a video on here. Check it here, hopefully. I don't know if I actually ever made that, but I don't know what this is. And I'm curious to see what's coming out. The buds on this plant are starting to really become big, but still haven't opened. And there's some kind of spider versus fly thing happening back there that I don't want to interrupt. Look how cute that spider is, by the way. He has eyes. I mean, all spiders have eyes, but you can see them. How cute is that? That looks like that spider, that little spider from YouTube. I'll leave you alone, mister. More columbines these are a little bit finished flowering and this palm thingy actually probably is dead but my boyfriend is not giving up on him yet but yeah this is the winter was not nice to him more columbines in a different color they're not so pretty anymore unfortunately they're finished already and then this guy i had so much trouble keeping this alive in our previous garden and now it's just huge. And look, the second one that's there is almost, <laughs> it's almost gone. Even though this was like a tiny little bush when I planted it here. So that's very, very cool. I hope it's gonna flower for us. It's a Hortensia. I don't know the word in English. Tell me in the comments. The Hortensia is about to open. I feel like it might be a little bit thirsty because we've had a lot of heat and not a lot of rain but it should start to rain again soon. Oh, by the way, this climber we planted as well two years ago and it's taking over the wool, which is super beautiful. Here's another honeysuckle that looks like it's about to flower. That's exciting. And then the fern garden is the last part, which is crazy because this was not very high up until recently. And then this, especially this one, this fern just started to grow and grow and grow so tall and really cool so we're really impressed with this and i love that it's still making more leaves in there and and then slowly i guess taking over everything because when these leaves fall they're super tall they're taking over the rest of the garden may have underestimated how big that <laughs> would get this one as well which is a little bit more flimsy like thin growing ferny things this one is not so happy, and the Asplenium, well, it feels alive, so I guess it's okay. Um, there's another one here. This used to be the variegated fern that we bought, but I don't see any variegation because it's just all sun bleached right now. So, whoops, sorry. And this one is the autumn whatever one, the one that looks a little bit reddish, which I love as well. And then there's one more here that is very nice and light green compared to the other ones. That one's a little bit more medium green and this is very light. So that's very cool as well. Also growing like crazy. This used to be the tree fern. It is dead, unfortunately. And this one is also growing a lot. This little funky fern. And then over here, lastly, this is our um, Camilla walking Camilla. So I planted a few plants and then every five days or so you walk on it. Ooh, I think there was a snail in there. That sounded gross. Hello? Did you hear that noise? There's something in there. Ugh, gross. Okay, I, I really hate gardening when it comes to bugs. There's a snail here as well. We're gonna save it. Come on out, snaily. <sighs> And the annoying thing is I'm not afraid of these bugs. I can pick them up and stuff when I see them. I'm more afraid of squishing them or hurting them because they're so fragile, like frogs and worms and snails. They all, oh, they give me goosebumps. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> you're supposed to walk on it, which I'm not gonna do without shoes today. And then it squishes and then it spreads and grows even thicker. So that's why this all looks like grass. It's all Camilla this part, and it smells really nice. I wish I could send you guys the smell of the Camilla chamomile. Chamomile is the English word. I wish I could send you the smell through 
the screen because the whole garden starts to smell really, really nice. And it is actually a more sustainable form of a lawn because you don't have to mow it and it doesn't take as much water as grass does. So that's why I wanted to grow this part and also to really have the nice smell, of course. So if you're redoing your garden, maybe think about making a patch of walking chamomile. So nice. This one is also looking great. I think the, the tree actually died, the mimosa, but the um, bitterkraut flowers are doing really well. Very proliferous as well. <laughs> I like that word. And there's they are like stems now. So they used to be little rosettes, but now they have stems. They're getting really tall. And then here, let's pick a good one. This is our sering, which is also from the previous owner. Really tall and gives us some shade, but also just beautiful flowers in spring. Wait, I completely forgot to show you Felix, the Phoenix palm, which had a bit of trouble in winter, but is definitely recovering. Look, he's green again. We bought this for 30 euros and it was so sad. And it's so much taller now in a beautiful big pot, even though this pot is falling apart. So don't look at that. <laughs> and then I guess the main feature of our garden is Jose and Rico, which is our two palms in the center. And of course the lawn that my boyfriend keeps very proud of this one. This, these two are doing really well. They survived the pretty intense winter. My boyfriend recently cut all the brown off, so that's why they look a little bit funky. But here you see the healthier leaves. It looks so tropical. In the heat of the day, we can lie underneath the shade of the palm tree, which is pretty epic. And that's it for this quick garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can hear me right because I feel bad for talking too loud, waking up the neighbors. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you want to see in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Consider joining my Patreon or my YouTube membership where you get early access to videos and there's a Discord chat and Zoom calls monthly to ask all of your questions. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye, friends.